Hello, Cancer fans. So I'm giving my Detroit Lions had a break. I'm pretty sure that it's bad luck and it's causing Detroit Lions to lose every game this year. So I'm uh, putting it on the shelf until they win a game. Then they will earn my fandom. But on the Cancer side of things, um, so the, the last tests were good. It's actually, um, what is today? The 16th of November. Yep, 16th of November. It's a Tuesday. So I'm getting this thing now where my nose is bloody. Um, about two weeks ago, or maybe a little bit more, when I would blow my nose, there was a little bit of blood in there. And I thought that it, maybe it was just the dry air or something like that. Um, so now, um, just in the past day or day and a half, there's a lot of blood. Like if I blow my nose, um, a lot of blood comes out. So there's that. Um, Deanna looked it up online and it's uh, pretty common for the chemo and the woman, one of the people that um, commented on it online, um, they they started to have it um, after eight weeks of chemo, which is exactly what I'm at, eight weeks. So I just took some of the magic mouthwash so my mouth is kind of numb, freaking me out a little bit. Been staying really busy, um, riding my bike in the mornings. So the cancer, the, the, the PET scan was really good. The liver is almost gone. The liver cancer, the liver tumor is almost gone. It's way smaller. It's almost see-through. Um, the colon cancer on the other hand is not almost gone. But the weird thing about the liver is that my liver still hurts. I don't know why my liver hurts. Anyways, I, I stopped taking my meds three days ago. I don't, I'm not taking any um, laxatives. I'm not taking any pain meds. I'm not taking any um, appetite things, no nausea things, nothing. I'm not taking anything. I actually, that's not true. Yesterday, I took one hit off of this. And pretty much this is just to keep me from smoking a cigarette. And it has that same burn and everything when you exhale. Well, it's not the same, but it's close enough. It, it ties me over. Um, so... I use that still every once in a while because the pain isn't that bad. Um, I kept forgetting to take my meds. Like at night, I would fall asleep early or whatever. I'd be tired and I'd fall asleep early. I'd forget to take my meds. I'd wake up in the morning and I'd feel fine, but I'd still take them anyways. And then I would finally just said, you know what? I don't even need to take them. So I still do have some pain. My liver hurts all the time, um, but it's nothing compared to what it was. You know, I went with a lot of pain for years so this is nothing to me. I can live with a little bit of pain. I like to remind myself all the time, I have cancer. I'm I'm fighting I'm fighting this disease, and I, I don't feel like if I'm if I take the pain med if I take the pain meds, then I don't ever know where I'm at. Everything always feels good, and I just I just it scares me to not feel it because I feel like if I'm getting worse, then I'll feel it, you know. So hopefully the nose thing is not. Um, see, I have this swelling under my eye. When I lived in Las Vegas, I worked concrete and I was a foreman at a company and somebody from the iron workers was having a lot of problems with the inspectors and they had to come back two or three times. And the last time that they came back, they did the same thing again. And so I kind of chewed the guy out, really big guy, a lot bigger than I was. And it really made him angry and he... Um, took a piece of rebar and smacked me right in the face with it, clicked me right across the eye. I'm right on the eyeball across my nose. I don't know what happened to that guy, but I never saw him again. I'm pretty sure he got fired, probably maybe, maybe arrested or something. I know the police were there for a minute. But anyways, uh, so that's what happened. Uh, this was about 15, 20 years ago. And I've had this bump underneath my eye and I can feel a little bit of pressure. You know, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, sometimes, but I, I'm just worried that that's cancer and now it's in my nose. You know, the last time that I 
ignored blood and just assumed that it was something not that bad. Um, I ended up with stage four advanced colon cancer. So I'm going to talk to the doctor about it when we go there. Maybe there's a test they can do or something, take a look at it. Um, hopefully not. Um, I, I looked at the PET scans and they don't show any, you know, you can see kind of from here down. I'm not sure if it quite gets the eye though. Um, so we'll see. And so I stopped taking my meds. Um, yeah, I like it. I feel, I still feel good. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why my liver hurts and that tumor is almost gone and my colon doesn't hurt and that tumor looks like it's gotten bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to ramp up the, um, the no sugar and the eating healthier. Um, instead of movie night, having a bunch of snacks, I'm going to have, um, fruits and vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables. Liam loves uh, fresh vegetables. He just eats them without any ranch dressing or anything. I like vegetables as long as I can dip them in ranch dressing. I mean, I like the taste of them and everything, but I really like ranch dressing. And it's kind of like an excuse to eat ranch dressing. So maybe I'll make my own ranch dressing so I don't have to have all the chemicals in the, in the store-bought ranch dressing. So that's the that's the plan. I'm gonna stop eating so much sugar. I've already I've already cut my sugar way down. I I didn't eat any candy all day yesterday. Sunday I had a um, a uh, candy cane, a Sour Patch Kids candy cane. They are so good. They should be illegal. So I had a candy cane uh, on Sunday. Yesterday I had nothing. But I did have um, some lemon water. And I started putting sugar in my lemon water because then it's lemonade. And But I'm going to stop doing that. I'm just going to have just straight lemonade or lemon water. I'm not going to put cayenne pepper in it no more, though, because that's, I don't know, it makes me feel weird. It makes me feel like it's doing too much inside of me. So I, may, I don't know, maybe I'll start putting cayenne pepper back in it. But I'm going to start drinking the lemon water without sugar. Um, I had coffee um, yesterday with no sugar with no, um, no creamer or anything in it, just straight coffee. That'll make you quit drinking coffee real quick. Um, that's disgusting. Uh, that doesn't even taste good. It just, but it's kind of good. So I'll probably have some more. Um, so what else? Uh, my meds, bloody nose, I'm staying busy, cutting down on sugars, um, processed foods. We don't want more processed foods. I'm going to Start eating just healthier. You know, I still want to eat meat, but I want to make sure that it's lean meat, small portions. I don't, I don't need a, a pound of steak. You know, I don't, I don't need my meal to be all meat. I can, I can do all right, better with, you know, a piece of meat, um, you know, as small, like four ounce or six ounce or something like that. So I, I don't know what the ounce size is, but I think four ounces is, is pretty small, which should be good. And then have some veggies with that or some, and some fruit. So yeah, I'm going to change my diet. I'm definitely changing what I'm drinking. I think that's it. Not really anything to talk about, except for my stupid bloody nose. Hopefully it's not cancer in my nose. Watched a good movie that, um, what's it called? The Jungle Cruise with uh, Dwayne Johnson or The Rock. And uh, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know what the woman's name is, but she's a pretty good actress. But it's pretty freaking funny. I'm not a big um, Dwayne Johnson fan because I don't know. I just, there's been a couple movies that I really liked him in, but for the most part, I don't really like him in movies. He's just not a very good action star or whatever, or he wasn't in the past, but I loved him in this movie. He's super funny. Just a great movie. Um, that's it. If you have any comments, uh, make them below. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.